The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is here. Why is that a big deal? We're gonna talk about it. That is coming up next. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, it is here. Take a look right there, that beautiful thermal sensor. It is stacked and set side by side like it was on the Dual. Why is this drone such a big deal? Well, let me tell you, the reason it's such a big deal is because it's got high resolution thermal. So we're talking about 640 by 512 resolution. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual was very, very low thermal. If you have that drone, you know that you didn't wanna go above like 100 feet, maybe 200 feet, but uh, even then you're getting a little sketchy in terms of seeing heat signatures. Uh, the other big deal, it's also radiometric and it has a 32 times digital zoom on it. So that's a big zoom range for a drone the size of a Mavic. So just to give you an idea of how far we've come in the last five or six years with thermal technology, this right here, you can see it, there we go. Uh, this is a big honking thermal camera from FLIR that we bought five or six years ago. One, it was more expensive than the actual drone, uh, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced uh, for the whole drone and the thermal camera and the 4K color camera. But they've taken a similar resolution thermal and and they were able to put it on the Mavic platform along with that 4K 48 megapixel color camera. And this is really an outstanding piece of technology. So we've been testing it out over the past several days. We're gonna show you some video examples of the thermal. We'll show you the zoom range. We'll show you the photo mode. Uh, we'll kind of walk through the paces. Uh, but in the box, you're gonna get the same thing that you got with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. You get these three attachments. You got the spotlight, you get the beacon that you can attach for night flights, and you get this, this little speaker, which you basically speak directly into the smart controller. And like a couple seconds later, it will repeat whatever you just said. And it's, it's pretty loud. All right, let's get into the highlights of this drone the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Here's an example of the radiometric high resolution 640 by 512 thermal sensor. All right, in video mode, you're gonna be able to zoom four times with lossless zoom. Here's an example of that four times lossless zoom. Now you're really able to unlock the power of this color camera, this 48 megapixel color camera in photo mode. You're gonna get 48 megapixel JPEGs. I don't see RAW as an available option right now, maybe in a future update, but you're able to zoom in 32 times.
It is a digital zoom, so it is going to pixelate as you zoom in farther, but this camera is really not for photos. It's not to go out for cinematography. It's not to go out and take beautiful pictures. It's really an inspection tool or a search and rescue tool. Now there is one little quirk with the camera and there are some people that are not real happy about this, but when you take a photo, when you're zoomed in, when you actually work with that file after the fact uh, on your computer, it's actually gonna be completely zoomed out. It doesn't take the picture completely zoomed in. So you're gonna have to go and do a little bit of extra work after the fact and find that spot that you were zoomed into. Uh, just do a digital zoom yourself on your laptop, on your computer, uh, and you're gonna be able to get what you need. It also has a great feature called split view where you've got the thermal camera on one side and you've got your color camera on the other side, which can be very useful for search and rescue operations. In split view, when you go into photo mode, you're gonna be able to do a 16 times zoom and they're both going to zoom at the same time. So as you zoom both the thermal and the 4K camera are gonna be able to zoom in together. And when it records this split view, it doesn't actually record it side by side like you're seeing it on your remote. Uh, it actually breaks it up into two separate files. So you'll have your thermal file and then you'll actually have your color camera file as well. And you can take those and edit them however you like. First impressions, I think people are gonna be really happy with this drone. I think if you've got the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual for the thermal alone, this is worth the upgrade to going ahead and getting the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. I mean, the drone is around $7,000 uh, fully loaded. I mean, you're basically getting three batteries, a case, all the attachments, uh, it, and the smart controller as well. That's included in that price. So $7,000 a few years ago, you would never have gotten these kind of features on a small portable drone like the Mavic 2. In some upcoming videos, we are gonna do some comparisons. We're gonna compare it to the H20T, which goes on the Matrice 300 platform. We're also gonna compare it to the Autel Evo 2 640T. We're gonna see how that stacks up. These two drones are very similar, very similar specs, very similar design. Uh, so we're gonna see how that stacks up. And we'll also compare it to the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual, uh, the lower resolution thermal, so that you guys get, a, get an idea of just how much better this drone is in terms of its thermal capabilities than what you're getting on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. So kudos to DJI for packing a lot into this platform, especially for public safety. They've been asking for that high resolution thermal. They've been asking for that bigger zoom and it all comes at a good price. I mean, at this point it, with the technology advancing as it is, uh, it's almost gonna be neglectful for any sort of police department around the country not to have on a community needs some sort of thermal drone. Somebody wanders away from a nursing home, a kid is missing, these drones are capable of doing a lot of things to help bring that person to safety. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Make sure you leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, we get back to you as quickly as we can. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.